Welcome to the unit three notes, which will be location, place, and region. This unit will be all about how geographers determine where places are, what places are like, and how places interact with one another. The first section of this unit is location, which is simply defined as a particular place or location. And geographers determine a place's location through uh, mainly a geographic grid on the Earth, which is a system of imaginary arcs that are drawn in a grid pattern on Earth's surface. Meridians are arcs that are drawn between the North and South Poles. Each is numbered according to a system known as longitude. And values of longitude range from zero degrees, which is the prime meridian, to 180 degrees east or west longitude. Parallels are arcs that are drawn parallel to the equator and at right angles to meridians. Again, each is numbered, and this is according to a system known as latitude. Values of latitude range from zero degrees at the equator to 90 degrees north or south. Points on the Earth's surface can be communicated by referencing points of latitude and longitude intersection. For example, Denver, a Colorado's capital, is at 40 degrees north and 105 degrees west. Further accuracy can be achieved by dividing each degree into 60 minutes and each minute into 60 seconds. So for example, Denver, Denver's Colorado State, Denver, Colorado's State Capitol Building is located at 39 degrees, 42 minutes, 2 seconds north latitude, and 104 degrees, 59 minutes, 4 seconds west longitude. Geographers then use the geographic grid system to use, uh, to create time zones. Uh, the Earth as a sphere is divided into 360 degrees of longitude total. And divide 360 degrees by 24 time zones, and we do 24 time zones because it's one for each hour of the day, and that equals 15 degrees. So each 15 degree band of longitude is assigned to a standard time zone. Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, is located at the prime meridian, which is zero degrees longitude. So the Greenwich Mean, the prime, the prime meridian passes through the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England. And Greenwich Mean Time is the master reference time for all points on Earth. The International Dateline is located at 180 degrees longitude. The position deviates from 180 degrees longitude at various times to accommodate the nation states that are in those areas. So if you go east of the the international date line, you are going back a day. If you move ahead of the international date line, you are moving one day forward. So the international date line is the point at which one day becomes another day. There are two different types of location, and locations may be absolute or relative. Absolute location is the precise spot where something is according to any system. So the most widely used system is the global grid of lines that we know as latitude and longitude. So for instance, Hayworth is at 40 degrees north, 89 degrees west. We will often use Google Maps in order to find locations, and Google Maps actually gives us latitude and longitude in the URL. If you take a look at this box in the in the PowerPoint, that is showing us where Hayworth, Illinois is, and it's degrees latitude, and it even gives us a decimal point. So in Google Maps, you're just given the two numbers, and one number may be positive, one, one number may be negative, they could both be negative, both be positive. That positive and negative refers to degrees north or degrees south or degrees east or degrees west. So the first number is always latitude, so that, that is 40 is the first number here. And because the 40 is positive, that means that it's degrees north. If it was negative 40, then it would be degrees south. The second number is longitude, 
a positive second number would be degrees east and a negative number would be degrees west. So Hayworth is at 40 degrees north, 88 degrees west. Absolute locations may also be described by an exact address using the U.S. Postal Service system. So in the United States, we use uh, a system of addresses. So Hayworth High School's exact location would be 308 West Cleveland Street, Hayworth, Illinois, 61745. So you can describe exact location through latitude and longitude and also through an exact mailing address. The other type of location or the other way to describe location is relative location. And relative location is the way that we talk about where things are more often than absolute. If you're telling somebody how to get somewhere and they've never been there before, um, you may give them an exact address or the, the absolute location in order to for them to put it into their GPS, or you could describe where you, where the person is going using street names, directions that they would turn, how long they would be on the roads. And using a system like that is relative location. Relative location is the distance from or relation to a different location. So for instance, Hayworth High School is two tenths of a mile east of Casey's. Or Hayworth is 12 miles south of Bloomington or McLean is a 14 minute drive west of Hayworth on US 136. If I was telling you how to get to ISU from Hayworth, I would probably tell you you're going to drive west on Cleveland Avenue or 136, take the on-ramp, the right on-ramp to northbound US 51. And I could tell you that you could drive all the way north on US 51 until you see ISU's campus, or I could tell you to get on I-74 West off of 51 and drive that around uh, to 55 North and then get off on the 51 exit and then drive south for a few miles till you get to ISU's campus. So when we think about relative location, we wanna think about how you would give directions or how you would explain where you're located. If you go on a trip and somebody says, well, where are you from? And you say Hayworth, and they're not from Illinois, then they probably have no idea where you are talking about. So often you will try to find another location and give your relative location based on that bigger location. When we're talking about location, we also think about types of distance. Physical geography affects linear distance um, by forcing a shift in a route to avoid impassable land or water. And linear distance is just how far across the earth a person, idea, or a product travels. Time distance is the amount of time that it takes for a person, an idea, or a product to travel. Modern technology has really shortened time distance. For instance, in the 1800s, pioneers would travel up to six months to reach California. Today, you can get there by a plane in under six hours. And with the internet, ideas can travel around the world in seconds. And psychological distance is the way that people view distance. As we become more familiar with a place, we actually start to think things are closer than they actually are, and less familiar places seem to be further away. This may influence decisions about many different human activities.